the third theory of relativity. This is what you will be introduced to today and you are among the first to discover this groundbreaking theory. Imagine being able to move forward in time and experience a moment in the future or even by simply getting close to a black hole, watching the hours of your life slow down more than ever before. You might think these are just far-fetched scientific ideas, but what if I told you that we might be only a few steps away from uncovering a real way to travel through time? In this video, you will be introduced to a revolutionary theory that could open a new path to this fascinating world. So stay with us until the end. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Logic Man channel. If you are interested in science, philosophy, psychology, and social topics, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of our new content. Stay tuned and join the journey with us. According to Albert Einstein's theories of general and special relativity, there are two possible ways to travel forward in time. However, Despite the tremendous progress humanity has made in science and technology, we have not yet taken even a small step in this exciting direction. Perhaps in the near or distant future, this could become a reality. According to this special theory, the faster an object moves, the slower time passes for it. Einstein believed that as one approaches the speed of light, which he considered the ultimate speed limit, time behaves exponentially, slowing down to the point where it nearly halts at a speed close to that of light or waves. For instance, if a spaceship travels at 99% the speed of light, and from the perspective of an external observer on Earth one year passes, for the crew abroad the spaceship only about 51 days will have passed. This is one of the most significant observations derived from the equations of special relativity and is considered one of the factors for potential time travel into the future. However, reaching this speed with current space technology is virtually impossible and this concept remains in the theoretical realm. Additionally, as is derived from Einstein's theory of general relativity, as one approaches extremely massive objects with very high gravitational density, time passes slower for someone near those objects. Depending on the mass of the object and the proximity to it, the extent of time dilation varies. For example, imagine a massive and dense object like the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. If a spaceship orbits close to the event horizon of the black hole, why, from the perspective of an observer on Earth one year passes, for the passengers of this hypothetical spacecraft, depending on their distance from the event horizon and the singularity of the black hole, perhaps only a few minutes or even seconds would pass. Both of these theories have been largely validated. Regarding general relativity, you might find it interesting that if a person stands near the Great Pyramid of Giza, which has a large mass and density, time will pass ever so slightly slower for them compared to others. These are just introductions to what Einstein's theory of relativity aimed to prove. By carefully considering both of these phenomena, a common factor becomes apparent. The alteration in the passage of time. Earlier, we provided a detailed explanation of time and relativity in a video and now we offer a brief summary to clarify the subject. To understand the topic better, we first need a deeper understanding of time. But what exactly is time and what is its nature? This might be a question you have often asked yourself. Time is essentially the measurement of movement or the extent of change. In fact, time and change are two sides of the same coin. Without change, there would be no time and without time, change would be meaningless. However, it's important to realize that despite the intertwined nature of both elements, change or transformation precedes time. Therefore, in any situation where there is movement or transformation, time will exist. Thus, when the rate of transformation or change slows down, 
time will also slow down accordingly. If we manage to decrease or even freeze the rate of transformation or change in an object, time will slow down proportionally. But how can this be achieved? The point I'm about to make is something that, based on the research I have conducted, is being presented for the first time. You are the first individuals hearing this. The factor that can influence the rate of transformation at the molecular level is temperature. But what exactly is temperature? Temperature is the amount of kinetic energy of molecules. When we heat an object, we increase the average kinetic energy of its molecules, causing them to move faster, and this change is reflected as a change in temperature. Therefore, temperature directly influences the rate of movement. But what happens when we cool something down? Exactly right. When we lower the temperature of an object, the kinetic energy of the molecules decreases, causing their movement to slow down. In physics, there is a temperature known as absolute zero, which is approximately minus 273 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules is almost zero, and as a result, there is virtually no motion, not only at the molecular level, but also at the atomic and subatomic levels. The atoms inside molecules stay in place, exhibiting no movement. However, as we previously mentioned, if a factor causes the rate of transformation or movement to slow down, time will also slow down. Yes, you are absolutely right. By lowering the temperature, the passage of time slows down. The temperature time graph follows an exponential function similar to the graphs derived from the theories of relativity, meaning that as we approach absolute zero, the rate of time dilation increases sharply. Of course, just as according to Einstein's special theory, it is impossible to reach the speed of light because time would stop us and slow down to the point where this would be impossible. Reaching absolute zero temperature is also impossible. However, with modern technologies, we can achieve temperatures close to absolute zero. According to scientists' research, the coldest place in the universe is the Papua Nebula, which has a temperature of around 1 Kelvin or minus 272 Celsius. Therefore, although this galaxy may seem to have existed for a long time from our perspective, in reality, only a few hundred years may have passed and its extremely low temperature close to absolute zero makes the passage of time incredibly slow. I have named this theory temperature relativity, and I believe it is the most plausible and potentially achievable way for time travel. To prove this, you don't have to go through a complicated process. You only need two atomic or quantum clocks, one placed at a low temperature and the other at the room temperature. And after some time, you will observe that time passes slower for the clock at the lower temperature. I don't have the means to perform this experiment myself, so you can try it and maybe the next Nobel Prize will be yours. However, once you receive the prize, don't forget about me. Until another discovery, goodbye.